Are you one of those entrepreneurs that has worked tirelessly on getting your website up? You've put so much time and energy, maybe you've built it or you've hired someone to build it, and you see yourself building a brand, a brand of significant influence and therefore income. Does your website reflect the vision, the mission, the emotion that you want your ideal client to have when they get there? Well, in this ILTV episode, I'm gonna share with you the key components that differentiate a website from a brand. I'm Carrie Murphy, and welcome back to Inspired Living TV, where we are committed to inspiring lives and empowering entrepreneurs. And it's great that you have a website. In fact, just the other day, someone asked me if websites were still relevant and needed. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. In fact, the whole point of being on social media is to get people off of social media and onto the only place online that is your real estate, and that is your website. So yes, I actually feel that websites are more important than ever because there's so much online and you want to get people to your home online, which is the website you've just spent so much time and energy on. However, a lot of times when I go to our clients' websites, I see beautiful pictures of them. I see lots of copy talking about their experience and their expertise and their programs. But the fact of the matter is, and I've said this so much when it comes to video as well, no one cares about you until they know that you care about them. So the average bounce rate on a website is bananas. It's eight seconds or less. That means you have less than eight seconds to keep and capture someone's attention on your website. That's why we're big fans of having a video on the homepage of your website, front and center. We call that your positioning video. So within 90 seconds, someone gets the answer to why they're there, why you, what you do, how you do it, and the next step you need to take. So I want you to go back to your website and I want you to go there from the lens of your ideal client and ask yourself the question, does this immediately answer a burning question that I have? Or does it fulfill a need or desire? No more websites all about you. The website has to be about the customer. So going back to WIFM. Now brands are all about feelings. A good brand evokes a feeling. When you think of Nike, when you think of Gucci, when you think of Prada, when you think of Spanx, they all ignite an emotion or a feeling around them. When you see their logos, you think about them. In fact, in a previous episode, I've talked about branding and really what makes a brand. But your website is so much more than pretty pictures and a logo. Your website not only has to answer my burning question from the minute I get there, which is, am I in the right place? It has to evoke an emotion, a feeling. And when you look at all of your assets as a business owner, your social media platforms, your logo, your branding collateral, is it all consistent? That is the difference between throwing up a website and building a brand, is that there's a level of congruency and consistency throughout all touch points of you. A brand usually lives on way beyond its founder. A brand is bigger than you. It's not your beautiful headshot. It's the emotion and feeling that the client has when they are surrounded or touched by your brand. So again, as you're going through your website, I want you to crank on you know, and put on a new lens and look at it from that point of view. Am I answering an immediate question, helping someone step into a potential desire? And what is the brand, what is the brand equity that I am creating online? Is it consistent? Is it making someone feel something? All right, so consistency is key. And where there's consistency, there's trust. All right, the more consistent you are with your branding and your messaging, the more trust you create between you and your potential buyer. So when you are sharing your website, right, is it, is it trustworthy? Do you have um, social proof, which is so important right now? It's not all about you, it's about the people that you serve. And now more than ever, people want social proof. So this is where you get to put those videos throughout your site, not just on one page, that talk about the praises and how you've helped people overcome whatever it is that they've had to overcome to get where they wanted to be when it comes to your brand or product. So again, going back to emotion, 
all right? Evoking an emotion, creating some brand equity, consistency. Consistency leads to trust and trust leads to conversion, right? We all want websites that convert. How do you do that? You need to have what I call an opt-in, something you've probably heard about before. But here's the funny thing. Most people put up one opt-in and leave it there forever, right? As an entrepreneur, this is your time to play with different opt-ins and see what converts. Someone that has a multi six, seven figure business, I promise you, they have tested this time and time again. It's so funny when I go back to my first website back in 2011, Inspired Living was all things to all people. It was love, relationships, success, money, mindset. And I wasn't making a whole lot of money, I have to tell you, because it was just too much. Someone couldn't say, this is the site I'm looking for, this is the answer to my problem, okay? But once we really niched down, right? We became known in the video space. We are known to help people show up authentically and powerfully online and scale and use video to grow a six and seven figure brand. Then everything changed and we had to get so clear with our message. So that is the last thing I'm leaving you with is, is your message clear? A confused mind will never buy. If I don't know within eight seconds what you do or how you help me, then I can't put my hand up and say, this is for me. That's why the average bounce rate is eight seconds. So emotional connection, consistency, right? That builds trust and clear messaging. You are a brand, but your brand is bigger than you. So it's time to get clear, go back and revisit that website. Make sure you have clear calls to action, list build, list build. Your website is your home online that is helping you build your business offline. All right, now, if you are serious about building a seven or eight figure brand, I would love to invite you to my premier women's event that happens once a year. It's called The Brilliant Event. And this is where I bring other women from multiple different industries who have built seven and eight figure brands from the ground up to teach you exactly how they did it. There is no other event like this. It is one of my favorite, favorite things and I would love for you to join us. So go to thebrilliantevent.com to find out more. As always, remember to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it. Until next time.